Yes, it is. It's Friday, and let me kick it off here with a thank you to Thomas for giving me the idea. I see he posted a link to uh, um, Rosie Palm. <laughs> well, that's right, they got the idea. I thought I'd kick it off with a little bit of good old rock and roll for a little bit here. Then we'll uh, roll on over into the country music, which is only a few more tunes away. We got some Aerosmith lined up for the Knickers. Uh, let's see what else we got going on over here, then. That's the Golden Arches of Independent Artists. Hello. How are you, love? Angel. Excuse me. And, uh, let's see. Lost track of where I was at. Hello, Erica. How are you, me love? Thomas? What a man. What a man. What a mighty good man. Uh, let's see. And everybody else that's tuned in tonight, thank you. Thank you kindly. It sure is nice to have y'all stop by and hang out with us for a little bit there. What you looking at? Um, what? Yeah, I said hello to Nick already. Is that just you over there then? Neither one of us is really up to par here. I've been, I, ugh, I went outside the whole friggin' day, man. It came in, took a little nap, and went right back out. Man, is it friggin' beautiful today. And uh, we got to go out Sunday and do a sign install, and shit, it's going to be 40 degrees all day long. And then it's going to get nice the rest of the week again, so we have to suffer one day of all days, you know. But that's how it goes. Yankee and the Brit, Friday night, headed in the direction of country. Your requests, of course, are always welcome. Got some old classic rock you'd like to jam to, or some new rock, or whatever you got. Bring it, baby. I am ready to jam a little bit. I may be down in the mouth, but that doesn't stop me from rocking and rolling. I'll give you that much for it. RTM Radio Network, Friday. Let's get it on and get it moving. Look at me. I'm frazzled. Oh, my nerves. With a Yankee and a Brit. <coughs> Excuse me, Friday night. Hello, everybody. What's going on? Some of you country people just, uh, you know, we're getting to the country. Just a few more rock tunes, and we'll crank over there. Um, we're waiting for a couple uh, new tunes to come through here. So just uh, jamming a little bit. By request from Angel MC, here is Creed with Arms Wide Open. Yes, sir. Now, that's some serious rock and roll right there now. Yankee and the Brit and the RTM Radidio Netted Worky. Hey, got a couple new tunes here from uh, Angel McDonald, the uh, Golden Arches of Independent Music. Check these out now. I played these uh, a little bit ago. I thought they were actual requests. I didn't understand what was going on, but maybe I still don't understand what's going on because I really don't understand a whole hell of a lot of anything. But here she is, Angel MC, sweet child of mine. <laughs> Friday night, Yankee and the Brit. That's the place to be, man. I'm telling you, if you just listen to me and what I got to say to y'all. Anyways, here's a new tune. It's an acoustic tune. Uh, I believe this is Thomas's cousin. Did I get that right? Thomas's cousin's uncle's son's brother. Daughter's uncle's dad's grandma. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Zach Woods is the name. I didn't get the title of the song. I just called it Don't Drink No More because I heard those words in there in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, well, you know what it is. Anyways, um, this is Zach Woods, I guess, a cousin of Thomas's. Check it out. Passed upon the rescue. Yes, random man. That would be me over here jamming along on a Friday night, moving along over here. How's everybody doing, by the way? Got a big weekend planned? going to be colder than a titch's wit here Sunday. God, I hate cold. Of all days to pick to go outside to work. Damn it, Jim. But anyways, nice to see you guys here. Glad you could make it. Happy, happy, happy. I'd rather eat Randy, Randy, Randy. Anyways, here's a tune that Donna did. Uh, Please Don't Leave Me by Pink. La, 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 la. I would never think of it. Wow, memories there, wife. <laughs> Nick has just reminded me of, he says, don't mention the bathroom recording. There was one particular day. <laughs> do, do you remember the day? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was singing I was singing on the, 
Randy was playing a song and I was upstairs back at my old house in Derby having a big poo and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I was singing on the toilet and Randy was recording me and all of a sudden there was a big splash. <laughs> <laughs> I still have that recording, would you believe? Uh, yes, I would believe anything. Boy, if I think of something old and I can't find it, man, all i got to do is say, Donna, do you have that on it'll YouTube? On, it'll be on my YouTube. Oh, my probably. God. <laughs> There's about 700 videos on there. How long ago was that? That? All that, we of did, that. that you did that one. God, you did that on your laptop. You didn't even do it on the phone. It yeah, it was terrible. nasty. I mean, compared to now, that sounds terrible. I mean, you did good, but... 2013, September the 29th. Holy shit, really? Yes. Damn. And in the video that's on the YouTube is a picture of me when I'm absolutely shit faced. I've had so many <laughs> beers, and Rand says, "Oh, that's a hot picture. She's got a cool hat on. I'll use that one." And I look—it's like, all we had at the time. And I look like I've, uh, and I look like, <laughs> oh my gosh! If I, I do much, something, I like to get that shit much done beer now, in my belly. not when everybody else decides. You know, <laughs> let's do it. Okay, we're doing it. So all I could find was one nasty picture. It was the closest thing to what she really looked like that I could find. He said, "You look hot." What? You did. You look hot for a drunk. Never seen you. Never seen you drunk before. So you are having that video where I'm singing with my cousin. Oh yeah, oh, but I mean, gosh. in re you know, in real now, you know, you know, see, ever since you've been over here, we've never went no. drinking. And I don't don't mind not going, but I could just imagine you being shit faced. I know I'd have to kick you to the curb or something. I don't like being drunk one bit. I don't like drunken women. Not not. No, I don't Smash either. Smash drunk. I don't like drunken women. I, actually, I don't like Dude, anybody that gets stinking stupid drunk because everybody ends up acting like retards. And that's one reason I quit drinking is because I know I look just like them. So it's like, you know what? I'm not going to embarrass myself anymore. No more of that. So that's where that comes from. But uh, here's another one. <laughs> here's Donna doing another Pink song. Yankee and the Brit, Friday night. What's going on, Friday? You're looking so lovely, just like always. Nice to have you out here hanging out with us. We've obviously chased away many of those country folks, but that's quite all right then. It's one of those nights. Fridays usually are kind of a mishmash, mixed up mess of whatever. <laughs> Requests are more than welcome. <clears throat> and uh, Angel, in case you hadn't noticed, we like to do all kinds of different tunes too. There's so many of them we've tried and just... Not going to happen. But there's a lot of them. I mean, Christ, we could do a whole show with just the garbage we've played around with. But, but, I haven't heard you say that in a long time, you bloody Brit. Anyways, having fun. That's all that matters. We don't care. All right, let's see now. Where was I over here then? Um, I had a special song I wanted to play for a special someone. And finding it at the moment for some reason uh let me see here oh now i know what it's called geez i almost forgot no wonder i couldn't find it hang on a minute then oh i think me old bloody knickers will get a kick out of this one at least that's what i'm hoping let's give it a go and see what happens now here's a little story to tell it is a must about an unsung hero who moves away the dust. Some people make a fortune, others earn a mint. My old man don't earn that much. In fact, he's flipping skin. My old man's a dustman. He wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold blimey trousers. And he lives in a council flat. Hey! He looks a proper nana in his great big hobnail boots. He's got such a job to pull him up and he calls him Daisy Woods. Some folks give tips at Christmas and some of them forget. So when he picks their bins up, he spills them on the step. Now one old man got nasty and to the council wrote, Next time my old man went round there, he... Punched him up the throat. Oh, my old man's a dustman. He wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold blimey trousers. And he lives in a council flat. I say, I say, less, yeah. I uh, found a police dog in me dustbin. What 
do you know it was a police dog? Well, he had a policeman with him. Bill, my old man's a dustman. He's got a heart of gold. He got married recently, though he's 86 years old. He said, oh, hang on, Dad. You're getting past your prime. He said, well, when you get my age, it helps to pass the time. My old man's a dustman. He wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold blimey trousers. And he lives in a council flat. I say, I say, I say, my dustbin's full of lilies. Well, throw them away then. I can't. Lily's wearing them. Now, one day, whilst in a hurry, a Mr. Lay's bin. He hadn't gone but a few yards, and she chased after him. What game do you think you're playing? She cried from the heart. You miss me? Am I too late? Now, jump up on me cart. My old man's dustbin. He wears a dustbin hat. He wears gold blimey trousers. I say, I say, I say, oh, not you again. My dustbin's absolutely full of toadstools. How do you know it's full? Because there's not mushrooms inside. He found the tiger's head one day, nailed to a piece of wood. The tiger looked quite miserable, but I suppose he should. Just then from out a window, a voice began to wail. Said, oi, where's me tiger's head? Four foot from his cell! My old man's a dustman, he wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold army trousers, and he lives in a council flat. Next time you see a dustman, looking all pale and sad, don't kick him in a dustbin, it might be me old dad. You are listening to the Yankee and the Brit on RTM Radio Network. But if you don't listen, we are going to fuck you up. Here's a special one for Knickers, me boy. Now I go cleaning windows to earn a nice bob. For a nosy parker, it's an interesting job. Now it's a job that just suits me. A window cleaner you would be if you can see what I can see. When I'm cleaning windows, honeymooning couples too. You should see them, Bill and Coo. You'd be surprised at what they do. When I'm cleaning windows, in my profession I'll work hard, but I'll never stop. I'll climb this blinking ladder till I get right to the top. The blushing bride, she looks divine. The bridegroom he is doing fine. I'd rather have his job than mine. When I'm cleaning the windows, the chambermaid's sweet names I call. It's a wonder I don't fall. My mind's not on my work at all. When I'm cleaning the windows, I know a fella just as swell. He has a thirst that's plain to tell. I've seen him drink his bath as well. When I'm cleaning the windows, oh, in my profession, I'll work hard, but I'll never stop. I'll climb this blinking ladder till I get right to the top. Pajamas lying side by side, ladies' nighties I have spied. I've often seen what goes inside when I'm cleaning windows. Queen. She looks a flapper on the screen. She's more like 80 than 18. When I'm cleaning windows, she pulls her hair all down behind and then pulls down her never mind. And after that, pulls down the blinds. When I'm cleaning windows, oh, in my profession, I'll work hard, but I'll never stop. I'll climb this blinking ladder till I get right to the top. An old maid walk around the floor, she's so fed up one day I'm sure she'll drag me in and lock the door when I'm cleaning the windows. You're all over the road with Randy and Donna Bradley and quit tailgating. Maybe just a wee bit of the 80s. Right then? Just standing there And I thought I was only dreaming Across the sea And we could feel the motion of a thousand dreams Doctor, doctor, can't you see it? 
Friday night with the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. Tomorrow night, country night. Right here. Testing, testing. Is this thing working? Are you guys hearing me all right? Are you receiving? But it does seem illegitimate To make a ball for the earth and the mother Even a cow has to show her a dash you got to have boobs B-O-O-B-S Some push them up And some stick them out And some keep them flapping in the breeze Don't tie them down, because if they don't, they would hang down to their knees. Just you see, you gotta have boobies if you want men to walk the diamonds and rubies. Why, even a tennis player would knock his balls out over the net for a chick who fills each cup until she falls out. Big, small or medium, more oversized They've all got that flavor and it's homogenized You gotta have boobs B-O-O-B-S Now some have enough And some have too much And some like me could stand a whole lot more Some are like watermelons And some are like grapes And some are like nuts upon the door Watch your score, you Gotta be filled Two fried eggs will never grab him Like grapefruits will And they're both breakfast foods But listen, girls, don't try to fool your lover Remember, he can go to good year if he wants rubber Some men are like men, and some are behind men. But if he's a boobs man, even a blind man will find him. You gotta have boobs. B-O-O-B-S. You think it's easy to write songs like this? Lots of research. Just think if all us girls have boobies with flovination. We could take the cavities out of... The whole damnation And never a day Keeps the dentist away Out cockers Like big knockers 
This goes over great in Derby. You've got to have boobs or be kind to your flat chested friends. Tomorrow she may be bigger than you are. You start out with a cup and wind up with a cup. Silicone's a girl's best TM Radio Network.
walks in the smoke, he's one hip at a time, like a broken field runner, slipping through the line. He likes the way she looks, so he calls a little wife, says, don't wait up for me, I'll be working late tonight. Wife hangs up the phone, bursts into tears, calls her sister up and cries, get over here. Sister tells her boyfriend, be back in a while, boyfriend wants a beer, the store is just a mile. He leaves a motor running, he'll only be a minute, his car drives away with teenagers in it. The driver tells his buddies, God will not to live, they scream into the night, let's get it over with. Cause and effect, chain of events, all of the chaos makes perfect sense. When you're spinning round, things come undone. Welcome to our third rock for the sun. The kid guns a gas car, starts to swerve, heads for a semi truck, jumps the curb. Truck hits a big boy in the show, his parking lot, who flies through the air, takes out the blank clock. Clock strikes a light pole, transform a spark, lines go down the town, goes dark. Waitress calls a cop, says she saw it all, swears a giant alien has landed at the mall. Cops ring the mayor, says there's panic in the street, we hate to wake you up, but we can't find the chief. Mayor says, use your head if he ain't in his car, he's hiding from his wife down Smokey's Ball. Chain of events, all of the chaos makes perfect sense. When you're spinning round, things come undone. Welcome to the world of rock and sun. Cause and effect, chain of events, all of the chaos makes perfect sense. When you're spinning round, things come undone. Welcome to the world. Third rock from the sun. I love the tune, but I think I could have done a lot better. But there you are, third rock from the sun, yours truly. Hi, what's going on, Friday? Hello, Mr. Benny Man. Benny Pitzinger, my friends, is in the chat. What a great guy, too. He's so cool. You gotta love cool. Cool, cool. Oh, cool, baby, cool. All right, Friday night. Don't forget, tomorrow night is Country Saturday night. I believe we have a guest, and that would be, let's see, who is it, by the way? Where's the good list? Um, Way up yonder. Uh, Let's see, Jake, uh, Colin Dexter would be tomorrow night, I believe, right? Is it the 17th? It is. Colin Dexter will be joining us. He's got some pretty cool stuff, too. I'll throw one here at you in just a wee little bit, don't you know? But other than that, uh, not much to say tonight chased away a lot of people by starting off with some rock and roll but you know what sometimes you just gotta let that shit get out of your system and i think tonight was the night and that was i don't quite thing. think it was the rock and roll it might have been the knickers aerosmith song <laughs> no i kicked it off way before that thomas I flew away a few cobwebs thomas had given me a, a, a thought on uh when i started out with uh, acdc what's this P- please bob please <laughs> i told you about the game that was on tv when we was growing up called blockbusters i was only telling you last week about the game where you had to where you had all the letters of the alphabet and you'd say you would choose a letter and then you'd have to answer a question with that letter beginning with that letter and you had to get across the board or down the board and uh remember i was only telling you just yeah and that sounds like uh, and, uh wheel of fortune yeah and people would always go and have a pee please bob <laughs> Now it all makes sense. I couldn't imagine who Bob was and why you were peeing on him. But okay. <laughs> it's just what I like to do to Bob. I like to pee all over him. Doesn't that short out the batteries? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all righty then. Well, anyways, we're just hanging out here on a Friday night. Mm, excuse me. Literally. Why are you shaving and causing dead air? Because it's that crap in the corner of your mouth that every time you talk, it stabs you. I don't care. It drives me nuts, though, man, when you talk 
one of those little short stubby hairs just coming out just keeps poking you every time you say something oh yeah you know if we're like driving down the road you know randy will stop you know the whole world comes to a stop when randy's got a hair that uh, that's annoying him. you know sometimes when something irrigates you you just got to do what you got to do to fix it it's like rattling something rattling it wasn't in the bothering truck me something rattling in the truck beside you oh. i will pull over and i will stop and move tools whatever i gotta do i can't stand that that just drives me nuts it's like one of the big trucks i used to drive an old freight liner shaking rattling oh my god i think it drove me nuts i spent probably a month stopping all the time just trying to figure out where all the rattles are and trying to fix them all right i'm out of here great blast out tonight absolutely awesome show they don't get much better than this oh nick now you know why i sang you the love song because you're such a nice guy one of these days before we're all gone, I hope I can get over there and actually lay hands on you. Oh, big boy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Benny, how are you doing tonight? Yeah, Benny. I know. Like Donna said, he's a wee bit fashionably it's late. fashionably late, like the warm-up fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> I would never compare him to that. Oh, my God. That's insanity. Okay. Well, let's go over here and just have some more tunage. Um, time is of the essence, you know, so we must make the best of it. 9.14, about 45 minutes left to go yet, so we'll probably be here hanging out until the end. 46 minutes and 34 seconds exactly, to be correct. Let's move along over here. Here's one from the man in... Jay Ricochet, Bar Blue, Yankee and the Brit on Friday. Benny, I gotta tell you, my friend, that, uh... That fishbone is like nails it. That is such a cool tune. I think that's probably one of my favorites out of all of them when we first started playing your music. Um, I don't know why I don't play it more. I really like it. Um, just That's why I asked the questions, I guess, because it's just cool. It's one of those tunes, and the music is fantastic, whoever was playing with you, and uh, it, certainly, uh, it certainly is your style. i got to tell you, that's, uh, that's pretty slick stuff right there. Uh, Yankee and the Brit, Friday night, tomorrow's country night, Saturday night, and uh, what's his name again? Uh, Colin Dexter's going to be with us, kind of an Elvis-looking dude. Um, I think he kind of sings like Elvis, too, I think. We'll find out tomorrow. We'll throw one out here at you in just a minute. But let's check this out. Broadcasting around the world. Around the world. This, this is your number one internet radio station. The music you love right here, right now. It's a country Saturday night with the radio nitwits, Randy and Donna, on the RTM Radio Network. Well, when I was a kid, I'd take a trip every summer down to Mississippi to visit my granny and her antebellum world. I'd run barefooted all day long, climbing trees, free as a song. One day I happened to catch myself a squirrel. Well, I stuffed him down in an old shoebox and punched a couple of holes in the top. When Sunday came, I snuck him in the church. I was sitting way back on the very last pew Showing them to my good buddy Hugh And that squirrel got loose and went totally berserk Well, what happened next is hard to tell Some thought it was heaven, others thought it was hell But the fact that something was among was plain to see As the choir sang, I surrender all The squirrel ran up Harv Newman's coveralls And Harv leaped to his feet and said Something's got a hold on me Yeah! The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church In that sleepy little town of Pascagoula It was a fight for survival That broke out in revival They were jumping pews and shouting Hallelujah! Well, Harv hit the aisles, dancing and screaming. Some thought he had religion, others thought he had a demon. And Harv thought he had a weed eater loose in his fruit of the looms. He fell to his knees to plead and beg, and that squirrel ran out of his britchy leg, unobserved, to the other side of the room. All the way down to the Amen pew where sat sister Bertha better than you, been watching all of the commotion with sophistic glee. 
But you should have seen that look in her eyes when that squirrel jumped her garters and crossed her thighs. And she jumped to her feet and said, Lord, have mercy on me. As that squirrel made laps inside her dress, she began to cry and then to confess to sins that would make a sailor blush with shame. She told of gossip and church dissension, but the thing that got the most attention is when she told of her love life, and then she started naming names. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church, in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula, it was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping views and shouting hallelujah. Well, seven deacons and the pastor got saved, and $25,000 got raised, and 50 volunteered for missions in the Congo on the spot. And even without an invitation, there were at least 500 rededications, and we all got rebaptized whether we needed it or not. Now, you've heard the Bible story, I guess, of how we parted the waters for Moses to pass. Oh, the miracles God's wrought on this old world. But the one I'll remember till my dying day is how he put that church back on the narrow way with a half-crazed Mississippi squirrel. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sweet little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping views and shouting hallelujah. That day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church In that sleepy little town of Pascagoula It was a fight for survival That broke out in revival They were jumping views and shouting hallelujah Yes, I am. I can shoot a partridge with a single cartridge. I can get a sparrow with a bow and arrow. I can live on bread and cheese. And only on that? Yes. So can a rat. Any note you can reach, I can go higher. I can sing anything higher than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I can buy anything cheaper than you. 50 cents? 40 cents? 30 cents? 20 cents? No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can say, I can say softer. I can say anything softer than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can drink my liquor faster than a flicker. I can do it quicker. I can get even sicker. I can open any safe Without being caught? Sure That's what I thought, you crook Any note you can hold, I can hold longer I can hold any note longer than you No, you can't Yes, I can No, you can't Yes, I can No, you can't Yes, I can Yes, I can In my coat? In your vest. In my shoe. In your hat. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can say, I can say faster. I can say anything. 
anything faster than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. No, you can't. Cat, 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 cat. I can jump a hurdle. I can wear a girdle. I can knit a sweater. I can fill it better. I can do most anything. Can you make a pie? No. Neither can I. Any note you can sing, I can sing sweeter. I can sing anything sweeter than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't, can't, can't. Yes, I can, can, can. No. Across the country, over the sea, and around the globe. It's the Yankee and the Brit with Randy and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. This here is Grant Daniels with Country Soul. Enjoy. Songs about life and love that's missing Play them fast or play them slow Cause I got country in my soul Love those songs about losing and winning Songs about fate and people grinning Play those songs right off the chart Cause I've got country in my heart Steel guitar, it sounds just right Fiddles playing hot tonight Guitar players drumming and picking Bass and drums keep it all kicking Clap your hands or stomp your boots If you have country in your boots Grab your hat and wave it high You're a country kind of guy Jason Hill, a bottle of Jack. After you live. Jason Hill, a bottle of Jack. Yankee and a Brit Friday night. How nice to see you guys, man. Appreciate it. Really, I do. I think we chased a lot of people away starting to show off with some rock and roll, but that's all right. I know they'll be back. Tomorrow night's country night. It's a country Saturday night, and Colin Dexter's going to be joining us. It's going to be pretty cool. Kind of an Elvis-looking guy. I know I said that earlier, but help you get a picture of what it's all about we've got about eight minutes left so uh i guess we'll uh we'll just uh, call it a night 
Not even worth digging something up. I don't think I could stand to hear myself another time. Huntsville at the DFW, then on to Frisco. Quite a flight. Donna had, what was it, a 10-hour flight when you come over from England to Chicago? Yeah, I went from Heathrow Airport to Chicago. O'Hare. What the hell do you do on a plane for 10 hours? Oh, I know. It went so fast. Would you believe how fast it went? Well, there was a time change. That's six hours difference. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was literally on the plane for 10 hours. That's crazy, was... though. I can't even... I'd go berserk, berserk, berserk. I'd, I'd be out of my well, mind. I imagined with me being so excited, I imagined it would drag. You know, I thought it would take forever, but it just didn't. I watched two films or one about one and a half films. That's because you wanted to meet me so bad you couldn't wait. <laughs> oh well there's no response there i see where this is going well, you know well you know i spent i spent about two hours of it fighting with farts you know i was up and down off my seat for two hours that kept me amused you know because my farts i don't know why but i had the stinkiest <laughs> oh farts and the guy next ever. to you too. yeah yeah for probably some, nerves i must have yeah i must have been just like that bit nervous but, you know, it's like leaving one life behind and starting a new one. You know, it's just uh, it's completely overwhelming. You know, you can't even begin to what, to imagine what was going on. Everybody gets mind nervous the when they meet me anyways. I'm such but a <laughs> friggin' rank little individual. <laughs> I was trying to think of the word I wanted, but uh, not threatening. What's the word? Uh, oh, well, I can't think of it. But anyway. But, yeah, I, I just had, like, those farts, those really, really stinky farts. And there was a guy <laughs> sat next to me. He had a cardigan on. Oh, and he kept boy. pulling the cardigan over his face and looking at me all weird like I just like I just dangled him up by his nuts or something. Because you were chasing the guy out of his friggin' <laughs> chair. That was, said, the, that was the first time, by the way, that I had um, hash browns with grated potato. That was probably you know, the grease. I'd only, ever, I'd only ever seen them like they sell them in McDonald's. You know, and when I got here, when I was on that aeroplane, they they gave me some steak, and they gave me some uh, some of your hash browns, and I didn't know what the bloody hell they were. Best thing to do is open up and stuff it in and see what you get. <laughs> I know. I was like, "What is this? This is hash browns." <laughs> They're stupid frozen patties. I like them though, deep fried. I really get a kick out of them. Should probably buy some one of these days soon. Benny said a guy stopped him at DFW and said he had seen him play in Baltimore. He's world famous. I know. Wouldn't that trip you out? Really? <laughs> I mean, I think even if you were famous, famous, not just Benny famous, but famous, famous, like I don't making care. millions He's famous. famous in our eyes. I think that would still freak me out, though. You know? That's I think cool. I would be quite starstruck meeting Benny Pitfinger. Oh, I'd be tickled to death. <laughs> That'd just be cool. There's certain people you like, you know, like I said about uh, Nickers and Danny, you know, and Jenny and all that. I would love to go to England to meet those people. They may turn out to be knobs, but I'm, you know, that's my passion is to get over there someday and meet some of these people that I've met because they just seem cool. Even, you know, they may be those stuffy British folk. And Nickers, seeing Nickers and Matt Mawson's probably like some of my earliest childhood memories, you know. That'd probably blow your mind to see him again. Well, well Matt lived on my street, so, you know, I had to see that rusty head <laughs> every day. Oh, he's a ginger. <laughs> yeah, he's a ginger. He doesn't look ginger. like it in the pictures. He's like, he's like, uh, he's like a deep ginger, <clears throat> you know. A, a deep ginger? <laughs> yeah, he's, all, he's like an auburn color. I think that's what Gilligan said. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's a whole other story, never mind. <laughs> Time's running out. About four I think minutes, I can work that one minutes. out. But oh, yeah, okay. I, you know, I remember I remember Nickers when I was about five years old. I think that's about as early as I remember. And when's him. the last time you seen him before you left? Yeah, I think it was probably about six months before or something. Six months before you left yeah. was the last time you saw him. Yeah, because we went on that day out, didn't we? We went and visited yeah. all the different well, places that's around still Derbyshire. A long time. Yeah, that'd be what now? Four and a half, five years? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I know that's weird, man. To go that long without seeing somebody that you see regular. It's like my boys. I probably never see him again, but. You know, if I did, I'd be friggin' overwhelmed. But It'd then I went cool. I went from, like, when I was at school all the way up till I was about, you know, in my mid-30s to even see Nickers again, you know? <laughs> you know, it wasn't... It was that school reunion where I met up with him again. Why well, Danny, can't. and Danny never even talked to me. It turned out he couldn't even see me because he had his cataract problem. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so now if he did see you, he wouldn't know who you were. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's what you looked like. <laughs> 
Go back to America. I think he just had these cataract operations or something. <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever be able to go. I mean, right, I can't imagine us ever being able to afford it or, you know, me getting out of the country or whatever. So who knows? I'd like to take you on a plane, but I personally have no desire to go back to my old roots. Not even to visit? No, not really. Well, you were always telling me, I'd like to take you to this place and take you to this place. Yeah, you always showed me all these beautiful places. Yeah, but places. none of them are like where I, where I grew up. Well, you don't anything. have to go there. Just <laughs> take me over there and let me see yeah. some of these things. I'd like to take you to Cornwall. You know, that's nice. You've seen Cornwall on the Doc Martin. Yeah, oh, I'd love to go there. That'd be cool. Yeah, I love that. Some of the, the architecture, the buildings and the ivy walls and all that shit I've always thought was so cool. You know, as Donna and I had talked about it, how I'd been a fan of the Brits since I was friggin' a kid, you know, and Benny Hill started all that. And then I started watching British shows on TV and they were funny and just been a big fan of the I Brits. I think for a Nickers would make Now a I right, got one. I think, a, I think Nickers would make a right man mess in his underpants if he saw you. <laughs> A man mess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get pretty skanky sometimes, don't you? It's hey, sad. we got to get the hell out of here, man. The end is here. I didn't <laughs> realize that. So, let's do that. Let's say goodbye and get the hell out of Dodge. Just let me find my... Uh, <laughs> what now? You're giggling up over on another page. All right, I can't find it. Where is it? There it is right there. Okay, I guess uh, we'll get out of here. Thank you, folks. Thank you, Benny. Your tunes are awesome, Benny. I don't know why you even... You're worse than me about bashing yourself. Stop it. He doesn't bash himself. <laughs> Half the people in Japan have cataracts. <laughs> they have ring guns. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't mean he was bashing himself, but he's just... He's way better than I think he gives himself credit for. I don't know. I'm just shooting the shit. We better go. When I hear the word bashing himself, it makes me think of bashing the bishop, you know. (laughs) Bashing the bishop? (laughs) Is that like jacking off or something? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Say goodnight, Donna. Pulling on the pud. Say goodnight. Night, Donna. Bye, Benny. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. Where'd it go? What happened? Ah, shit. All right. uh, The Yankee and the Brit. The Yankee and the Brit. One is a genius, the other's a twit. Okay, got to go because we are out of time, man. See you tomorrow night for Country Saturday Night. Yankee and the Brit's the place to be. Radio living is the life for me. Airwaves spreading out so far and wide. Keep your FM, just give me that internet side. Online is where I'd rather stay. I've got a lot of music to play. I just adore a Yankee view. Darling, I love you, but give me a show to do. The chap. The brats. On air. That's fair. You are my wife. Goodbye, British life. The Yankee and the Brit on air.